Coffee and Convo, y'all. Let's get it. Yo, Nation, we are back. We are in the building. Welcome to the latest installment of Coffee and Convo. I am your host, Graphic Raiders. Salute to everybody here in the building. I appreciate you guys. As always, you could be anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me. And today, my little bro Hammer's also in the building for the Coffee and Convo segment. Salute to my bro. Um, I have no idea what's going on with the YouTube comments, so I cannot see them at all in the stream yard. So I'm going to have to respond to the comments from YouTube, you guys. So I do have the YouTube tab opened on the other end. I cannot see them at all in the stream yard. So I'm just going to have to read them out loud from YouTube. So I may not be able to put the supers up. Lil bro, can you see him? Uh, I see mine. I saw the, the thing on your end that says it doesn't work. So yeah. I'm not sure what's going on, but you can hear me loud and clear now. Yes, we are good. Thank we are good. God. This... Yeah, we are good. Salute to everybody here in the building, man. Once again, I appreciate you guys. Wipe them feet, meaning hit them thumbs up. Um, also, hit subscribe to both channels, Hammers and the Oak Walls Vegas Raiders Network. Uh, once again, man, salute to all the members, non-members, everybody in the comments section shooting the shit. Once again, you guys, be patient with us today um, as I cannot see the comments in my stream yard, but I will be reading them from YouTube. So I'm not going to be able to put too many up on the screen. But um, I'm going to try my hardest. It's always something, man. It's always yeah. something. This is why we got to get you lock and loaded with the other thing, man. Yeah. Yeah. And, and we'll make sure we'll do that right after this, man. But salute to everybody once again, already in the building. A lot to talk about here today. Um, yeah, man. Training camp. Hearing great things about certain players out there. Um, Hunter Renfro being totally accountable for what happened last season we're going to talk about that here soon but we're going to come over here and just kill this narrative real quick you guys you guys see uh you guys see what it is already with the thumbnail right is what it is um there was an article that was released the other day from a radio personality i believe his name is craig carton um he has been known to make bold predictions he's, it, it, predictions he's definitely gotten cooked a lot um for it, I guess he has a show called The Carton Show or something along those lines. But um, he went out to say, I guarantee you there, there will be reports coming out of Vegas that Devontae, uh, Devontae Adams will want out. Carton said, and guess where he would want to go? The Jets got blurted out by his co-host, Tim Hardaway. So uh, there you have it, you guys. Let's just be real. This is total, total, utter bullshit. This is not going to happen. Devontae came out today, and he said this for the 30th thousandth time i don't know understand why we have to keep doing this and the reason why i'm doing this is because people have been dming me left and right about oh my god Devonte's unhappy and blah 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 Devonte came out today and said he wants to retire a raider okay i don't know how many times we have to keep talking about this but it seems as though month after month look we know football is really getting close because the bullshit is starting to get bigger and bigger and bigger but Devonte has come out and said that he wants to retire a raider okay so let's kill this shit. I see other content creators putting shit into the universe and blah, blah, blah. This is some bullshit. Devontae said he wants to be a Raider. He said he wants to finish his career here. At the end of the day, there is nothing to talk about. I mean, do you have anything to add on this, little bro, when it comes uh, to the Devontae situation? Yeah, for all of those people that are continuing to drag out this false narrative, just please do me one simple favor. Shut the fuck I'm, I'm over it. Like same thing, same thing goes with the whole Jacob situation. Leave the shit the fuck alone. Stop, please. Yeah. I'm tired of hearing it. Yeah, and, and 
Look, there's nothing else, I guess, to talk about. These guys are going to throw out random, crazy, hot takes. Um, let's just keep it a buck, you guys. Aaron Rodgers has Garrett Wilson. And in a few years, he's going to need to be paid, right? And, and he's a dog. He's going to be, he's, to me, he's going to be a top 10 wide receiver. Um, they went out and got Alan Lazard. They're not going to be able to take that contract on soon. And keep it real, if Devontae at some point in time did ask out, I mean, you know, to get out of Las Vegas, Aaron Rodgers has a two-year deal left with the Jets. Two years. This year, next year. I don't see Devontae even making it over there while Aaron Rodgers is there anyways. They have Garrett. They have a young wide receiving core that is going to be really, really good for those guys. They're not going to have the money to re-up Garrett, Garrett and then also pay Devontae Adams big-time money. So let's just keep it a buck, you guys. This, this is some bullshit. People out there throwing that shit into the world have nothing else to talk about at all. Just another media uh, frenzy in a time where things are slow and people are looking for shit to talk about. You know what I mean? So cap, 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 cap. Devontae will be a Raider and he will be a Raider for the foreseeable future. And hopefully he retires a Raider. Shout out to DeMarcus, man. Mainstream media is such a joke nowadays. Minus the real ones. No one wants to find a report, real and true content. Entertaining lies. Because it's more entertaining than the truth. This is fact. Facts, man. Facts plus tax. Um, I don't really know what else to say on that head. Like, I think it's pretty much, you know, what it is. Stop. Just stop. Start, starting to get some of my comments sliding in now. Salute to everybody still putting the comments in. Starting to see them now um, in StreamYard. Like I said before, I don't know what the hell is going on today. But, um, yeah. The rest of the NFL don't want us to have shit. That's all it is. Big Mike, hit it on the head, brother. Hit it on the head. Um, what are you hearing about training camp right now, little bro? What, 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 so, what you got going on? I was listening to a little bit of the presser. Um, Carlson was up, and just as you and I went live, um, Renfro was in the middle of his. And like you said, like he took accountability for last season and everything that happened with him. Yeah. And um, look, he misses some of his teammates. Those were some of his closest friends in Foster Moreau, Darren Waller. Um, yeah. But again, we, we say this all the time. This is a business at the end of the day. So everybody understands that, especially him. But um, yeah. he's just looking forward to getting out there and doing what he has to do to contribute this year. And hopefully we don't uh, revisit or uh, rewatch that movie of uh, what he did last year. Um, I quote, I didn't have fun last year. Hunter Renfro says, I want to show my teammates that I am a guy that they can count on. And for what I'm hearing so far, he's actually performing really well out there at training camp. I know the pads aren't on yet, but um, it seems as though that he's making some big plays out there. It was a big splash play, I, I believe, yesterday with Hoyer. Hit him deep as uh, training camp um, kind of came down you know, to the end. Um, also, you guys hearing really, really, once again, good things about Aiden O'Connell. Um, everyone is saying how accurate he is. Um, they are raving about our young fourth round quarterback out of Purdue right now in training camp. But once I, I got to say this again, no pressure on him, you know, no helmets, no pads, not going to get too ahead of myself, but it sounds as though, um, Aiden, um, is cooking out there at training camp. What, what do you take from that thus far, man? The, the, the news on that. I'm happy to hear, hear that. And we've talked about this when it comes to, uh, O'Connell being drafted by us. Like, look, He's yeah. gonna he's gonna sit in the back and he's gonna learn this year. And look, he's already acclimating to the system. I, I don't want to say at what pace right now because we truly don't know. We really won't know until we see uh, him in action in the preseason. But with a guy like Hoyer that can help him learn this uh, this offensive system, I think he's gonna do perfectly fine. Let's just see what a uh, preseason brings. Um, here in Aiden O'Connell connected with Michael Mayers. On a nice, uh, nice little drive. Love to see it, man. Love to see that the young guys are already connected. Um, you know, uh, it looks as though shout to Mike Dixon. I'm reading some of his. He's a beat writer that's out, actually out there right now um, at training camp doing his thing. Devontae Adams dropped a 50 yard pass from Hoyer on the last rep to end practice. That's how you know um, it's the beginning of training camp because Devontae does not miss a lot of football. So um, let's not. Get, get ahead of ourselves with that type of situation. Um, also, he said he has a nice zip on the ball, Aiden O'Connell, and is quick and accurate. And I'm seeing a bunch of other guys that are out there saying the same thing uh, right now. Also hearing, um, shout out to Levi, um, that uh, Jacorian Bennett had a really good uh, day in camp. Uh, Brandon Faison also did. Another guy, I think he's our second highest paid corner right now, about two two 2.8 million. Okay. Um, 
and uh, I'm, I'm thinking I'm, I'm hearing more things about Amik out actually out there looking really good as well. Um, uh. There's a player out there. I don't know what happened, and you got to be really, really not giving a shit about what's going on at camp. Defense, shout out to Victor Fur. Defensive players and coaches take a lap around the field. Rob Ryan beats out one of the players. Rob Ryan. Yo. We need, yeah, we need, to know, <laughs> we need to know the name of that guy because, um, yeah, that guy needs to be running. What the fuck? Bro, Rob Ryan's stomach is literally out here, and that's not even putting extras on the shit. So if you get beat, if you get beat out by him, uh, yeah, I don't really know what else to say. Um, but yeah, man, um, here are some really good things. Sounds as though camp is starting to heat up a little bit more. Uh, sounds as though the jitters are kind of, kind of getting out there. You know, there is reported the first day was pretty sloppy, which you'd expect that, you know I mean? First day of training camp. Um, but, uh, yeah, man, um, uh, Renfro also, um, talked about, uh, McDaniels and Ziegler in the off season said they're good. Hopefully I can prove to them. Um, they were right for re-signing him. I love that. Hunter Renfro is saying everything right right now. He's also said that Garoppolo is steady and consistent and a great guy in the locker room. You can tell he has put in a lot of work and is not thinking when he is back there. That's a good thing, man. Jimmy G's is in there just performing, doing his thing. And for those who are freaking out on uh, Twitter, Instagram, and all that good stuff, uh, Jimmy G did not practice today, but he was given the day off. Veteran day off. Um, you don't need to have Jimmy G out there every single day. Um, so it is what it is. But um, he did have the day off at camp and uh you know at the end of the day you don't really want to see him out there like that um all day every day anyways victor fur did say another sloppy day a lot of footballs on the ground but it's early um but from what i've heard it, it's getting a lot better getting a lot better out there um what else have you seen any interesting tweets when it comes to camp see anything else that going on out there today honestly i haven't even had the opportunity to look at uh at twitter today like i've been doing a whole bunch of things around the house like you and I were talking before and I was actually trying to straighten uh, the vault up a little bit like yeah. every, everybody just saw like th this is somewhat of the polished product for the time being for those that are looking including ducks but um I still got other things I got to do around the house um so I haven't I have not looked at Twitter at all today okay another I'm, I'm normally that person that's that has I'm looking at Twitter left and right but today just nah uh, another four names to keep, you know, that we already know that weren't going to be out there, but we'll report it again. Um, shout out to, to Sean Reed once again. He put it out there. Josh Jacobs, you know why. Um, it's not practicing. Edge rusher Tyree Wilson, rookie, dealing with the foot. Um, he's still on the pup list. DT Neil Farrell Jr., undisclosed. From what I'm hearing, it's a lower body injury. Oh, no, that, that's Byron Young. I'm sorry. Byron Young's also not out there. I have no clue what's going on with Neil Farrell at this point yet, but I'm hearing that it's not serious he should be back soon and nate hobbs because of the eye um in the softball game so same guys were not at camp today but they all should be back shortly outside of josh jacobs unless he changes his stance and um shows up man but uh yeah man another day in the books you guys getting closer and closer to the first where guys will be having pads on and shit gets real um i wanted to go live today and do this coffee and convo just based on um the recklessness sometimes of of, of, of some of these people that we call the media, right? I, I feel like a lot of these guys, they really need to be held more accountable, man. It, you know what I mean? Like we, we give people passes way too much, way too much, way too much. I don't care if it's a Raider guy that, that delivers content. If it's someone that is not even, you know, n not even close to, you know, a, a being a Raider guy and just spewing bullshit into the universe. We need to hold these guys a lot more accountable, man. You know what I mean? It just doesn't make any sense that you can come out here, you know, week in and week out and, and spread lies and bullshit like Devontae Adams asking out of Las Vegas to go to the Jets. It's easy, right, to say that because Aaron is there and blah, blah, blah. But like, come on, man. What, what, where, do you, where are you getting this from? Where ESPN, are you getting from? ESPN Radio New York has done it a couple of times. They haven't done it recently because I more or less, when I called in, I put like an end to it. But like some of y'all really have zero credibility when you put out clickbait like this and the shit is just fucking sad like have some supporting facts have some valuable sources if you're gonna put out this type of shit if not again shut the fuck up that's it nobody yeah. wants to hear like we already have seen people in the chats in the comments right now that are saying like they come here for real facts and that's all we do like i i told you i'm not sitting here during the off season 
I'm not going to force myself to sit in front of a camera and create clickbait because that's not who I am. Like I'm not yeah. with that shit. And it's, it's frustrating, especially for the diehard Raider fans. Like they have to stop this shit. Yeah. And at some point, Devontae's going to get pissed about this shit. I mean, I know he understands. He's a veteran, so he knows how the business goes. He knows how media and all this shit is. But at some point, he's going to be like, how much more do I have to, like, like show and prove to you guys that I want to be here? It's, it's, you know what I mean? Like, especially, look, I understand the outside guys that have no idea what's going on in this organization, like this fucking dickhead, uh, whatever his name is, Craig Carton or whatever. But let's hold our own people accountable. Right. Let's talk about like we can't act as though this is the truth because it's not. This guy has said multiple times he wants to be here. We have to hold our own accountable. The people that cover this team that talk about this. You see all the other guys, the beat writers, everybody. There's no validity to this. There's no truth. There's, there's no truth to this. You know, what I mean, and, and people come on the Internet left and right and, and just continue to monetize on bullshit. And it, it's insane to me, man. It's insane to me that we can keep throwing this bullshit out there. I get that some people are irritated and frustrated and mad because of their favorite player no longer being here. But let's just keep this shit a buck, you guys. Stop feeding into it. We're all responsible for it because we all feed into it. The nation feeds the clicks. We feed the Twitter feed with, oh, my God, no, 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 no. We got to stop that shit, man. We have to stop that. Let's hold our own people accountable. If you're going to cover this team, be honest, be transparent, be real. If it's not facts, say this is, you know, just, just say alleged. Just, just You don't have to go out there and, and act as though every single rumor out there is, is honest and is real. It's, it's bullshit. It's cat, man. It makes no this sense is, at all. Realistically, at the end of the day, this is all it is. Stop with the conspiracy shit And Craig Carton was a radio personality For another radio station out here in New York And a dude, there's another one that's just ass Like, yeah. if you are covering a team Your shit nine times out of ten is going to be pretty valid But when you're not, this is the type of shit you're going to hear you're going to see these fucking jackasses make up all this random bullshit news. Just stay the fuck away from it. Yeah. And a lot of these guys will throw that out there. They'd throw a lot of bullshit out there and see and to see if it sticks. And they'll be wrong 30,000 times, but they're hoping that they're right about one thing so they can claim it. Um, this is not happening, you guys. Devontae Adams is a Raider. He will not be a Jet. And the, and, and the shit, there's nothing else to talk about in terms of that. Shout out to Charlie Woods. I have a good feeling about Mayor. Great pick. Yes, and he's already showing out, um, you know, in the first week of camp. Shout out to William. Hello from Montana. Today is my birthday, and Raiders football is back. Happy birthday, William. We salute you, my brother. Everybody in the chat, let our brother know. Happy birthday. Shout out to William in Montana, man. Um, also, salute to everybody else in the building. I see big bro Chuck Taylor's in the building. Shout out to my guy. Um, he's been working behind uh, the scenes heavily on a bunch of new intros and stuff for us uh, going into the season. So if you guys are not in tune with our brother Chuck yet, man, make sure you guys follow our brother Chuck Taylor all over the place. Um, he is responsible for the intros and logos and a lot of the stuff that we do over here at Mount Shelmore. Salute to our dog. Um, there we go, man. The best the best fan base in the world right there. Happy birthday to our guy. Um, shout out to the Raider, man. Bro, our own Raiders media in the building be wrong as fuck. Hondo is the only consistent one. Um, yeah, man. I mean, Hondo I, I is think, one dude I have the utmost respect for. And I yeah. said that a couple of times. Like, I respect the hell out of Hondo, most definitely. Well, he, he's also an older gentleman that isn't going to buy into, you know, the, the new way of doing things. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, he's just going to be honest, transparent. If he didn't hear it from the horse's mouth, he's not going to put it out there. Hondo is definitely one of those guys that can actually ride his ass off to and, and, and knows his stuff. At the end of the day, man, you know what I mean? These other guys, they'll, they'll just throw crazy narratives in, in, out into the world and then kind of just step away and just watch the nation be in a frenzy because they don't care about this team. Let's just keep it a buck. They really don't care. that They're not Raider fans. They can give a shit about how we feel. They don't care. You know, yeah, we're the yeah. ones that give them clicks. We're the ones that paid a little couple of dollars every month for the athletic to, you know, to get behind the behind the scenes scoop that you're not really getting shit. Let's you're just paying for that shit because no, I don't even no, fucking read it. No, I'm not at all. I'm not at all. But I'm saying there's a lot of us in the nation that do. You know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, you know, it is what it is. Shout the rule, man. We signed Pe uh, Pe uh, Peco 
Rochelle and worked out two other guys and Rob Ryan out here beating guys in laps. Our DT room needs to step up before Rob starts at nose tackle. And I think we brought in, um, you know, Peco again because of the Neil Farrell uh, undisclosed injury. So uh, I don't know if this guy makes the roster, you know, nice veteran presence that we, you know, but I don't really truly believe that he's going to make this roster, uh, you know, shout out to the Oops. Maybe he does, but I think it's because of Neil Farrell's undisclosed injury. Whenever he comes back, I think Pecco will be uh, let go or maybe put back on the practice squad or something. I don't, I don't even know. Salute to Rube, though. Shout out to our brother, man. Yeah, you ain't Fucking shit, bro. Asshole. Did you see that? <laughs> Did you see that, bro? Look at this shit. Look at this shit, bro. I hate Cody, bro. <laughs> he said, yo, the Las Vegas uh, spear thingy is crazy. What the fuck? Fuck. <laughs> Done with y'all. I hate you, bro. I hate Cody. I love you though, bro. Salute to Big Al in the building. Yo, Hammer, who got the uh, who you got in the fight tomorrow night between Spence and Crawford in UFC 291? So boxing, I've said this a couple of times and no disrespect at all. Um, boxing is a dying breed to me. I do not watch boxing. Uh 291. I know um Blackowitch is on the card. I think I'm leaning towards him. And then you have the Poirier Gaethje fight. Um, I think Poirier is going to pull it off. And that's for the BMF belt. So it's going to be an interesting card. It's going to be an interesting fight, definitely. Let me read these two supers real quick that we missed. Shout out to our, our dog, Raider. Man. Salute, fellas. Do you guys think Nesta will make the roster? I hope the seventh rounder um, out of Arizona State does make it. He has a dog in him, that feistiness. You want, you need that on the defensive tackle position. He kind of reminds me of a guy that we had in Vegas a few years ago um, that was injured. He's not back in the league right now. Um, defensive tackle that kind of showed, you know, some, some, some showed that he could play the, play the game still, you know, coming off of, uh, you know, being suspended for a while. One of Gus Bradley's guys, who am I talking about right now? Hammer? Wait, it was suspended. Yeah. Well, years prior, years prior, he was Hold suspended. Um, and this is a defensive tackle. Yes, and, he, and he's always on Twitter right now. He's always on Twitter saying he wants to be back, and he's always wearing Oh, my school. God. What the fuck is his name? Because I know I, who you're talking about. I can't remember his name right I, now. I, I, I don't know if you can. I don't know if you do. It, uh, somebody in the chat. If you, defensive if tackle. Him, play I for know. Signed to Arizona on a two-year deal worth $10 million. Play for the Chargers. Who you got? Oh, my God. Who the fuck is it? <laughs> who you got? Who you got? Who you got? Who you got? I can't remember his fucking name right now, and I was what? seeing him in, on Twitter what, what, a what, lot. What, while you think about it, shout to Jose. Says, Hammer, where did you get the hat? Uh, residency. This was uh, part of our little swag bag when we were out in Vegas for the draft. So shout out to residency. There you have it. And don't cheat oh now. Don't read, don't read the no, comment. I'm, bro, bro. Yeah. I, I, uh, I can't. You got to say the name because I can't. Darius Fylon. Darius Fylon. That, oh, that. I'm thinking, and I'm like, I constantly see a dude on Twitter, and he's always talking yeah. shit. Like, uh, yeah, yeah. But but he he reminds me of 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 him that feistiness to his game, got that dog to yeah. him. You know what I mean? And, and I can I think that he can carve out a role on this team. I would love to see him make the roster. Uh, but that defensive tackle room is 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 a lot deeper than it usually is. You know what I mean? There's a lot of guys that are that are about, that that are fighting for a few spots. So um, look. The the two main pieces on defense that they really focused on this time around with the depth chart going into camp was the defensive line room, specifically the D tackles and our cornerback room. So it is yeah. a huge, huge battle for spots. These guys have until past week three, three days after they'll find out if they make this roster or not. Um, shout out to Bernard Brooks in the chat. Hammer, hey, this is a question for you. If you were on the Raiders coaching staff, which one would you coach offense or defense? It's a very tough question. Um, I did coach both sides of the ball. I actually coached all three facets of the game. Um, probably offense because I I still actually have playbooks in the house, and I loved um, a lot of the things that I, I built um, offensively in the schemes I had. So I would probably have to say offense. Salute to my dog, man. Also, Jose, uh, this is my guy, man. He donated $10. Um, to the live. He asked you also where you got the hat. We all we got all those LV residency hats uh, covering the draft in Las Vegas. Shout out to our Blackout family over at Barcode. Uh, we put on a three day uh, thing over there, and we has we had a ball in residency. Shot us a bunch of a bunch of hats. I got the white Woodson whiskey one. Hammer got the black one, and uh, the team got a bunch of different hats. So shout out to residency. We're definitely gonna be rocking a lot of their stuff. And Jose, my apologies. I could put 
uh, your comment on the screen. For some reason, all the comments are not flying in on my stream yard right now. I have no understanding of why. It says right now that YouTube is having a known problem, a known issue with comments right now. So I'm reading these on YouTube and not being able to put them up on the screen. So salute to you, brother, on the donation as well. Um, what else, man? Uh, I mean, I, I know we've had the pressers. I wasn't really trying to, I told you on the phone, I really wasn't too excited to sit there and, and, and listen to a few of those guys talk. Um, yeah. You know, I like, to, I like to listen to Josh McDaniels. I like to listen to Zeke. I like to yeah. listen to the superstars. I like to listen to the leaders of the locker room because yeah. and what they say, because you know, you're going to get most, you're going to get the most out of these guys, right? Well, I'll say this. Josh McDaniels be kind of capping a little bit, but I'm just saying in terms of the, you know, the superstars, you're going to get the truth out of Devontae Adams. You're going to get the truth out of Mass Crosby with him going out there saying that Jimmy G got that dog in him. You're going to get the truth out of Chandler Jones saying that Adam Plant is already out there cooking without even having to think about. They said, what young guy, Adam Plant, that quick. You know, that, those are the guys that I'm, I'm interested in seeing at the podium, guys that have been in the game for a while and, and see it for what it is. And I was, I was interested in seeing Hunter Renfro today, too, because of all the surrounding, you know, speculation that uh, was yeah. going on around him this year. Shout out to T4 on, on a $5 donation. I feel a lot of rookies will make an impact. The D will take a step forward. Pause. And JG will be healthier behind our O-line. I just yeah. hope JJ is a part of it. Salute. Salute, salute. Shout out to our dog, man. Appreciate you on the donation. And this is facts. Facts plus tax. Uh, let me see. Don't disrespect Carlson like that. He is a straight superstar. Who said that? Who said that? <laughs> what? Let me see. I get, um, what he, I get what he's saying. I get what he's saying. Shout out to my dog, man, Antonio. He says, how about you, Docs? What position would you play if you were in the Raiders? I'd be a receiver. I grew up being a DB and a receiver. I played corner. I played receiver my whole life in youth. Uh, you know, uh, youth football, peewee football, high school. I was always a receiver in the DB, so that that's the route I would go. Um, yeah, Jeremiah, Josh tells nothing but lies. He'll say we're keeping him around. We love him, and he's gone a week later. Um, but you know, a lot of these coaches do that. Gruden used to do that shit. You know, what I mean, most of these coaches will say, "Oh yeah, we're all happy," and so on and so forth. And the next thing you know, they're traded or released, or you know, what I mean, these guys. They try to keep everything in-house as much as possible. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like we get more out of Zeke, our GM, than we do out of our head coach. That um, sounds about right. This... Yeah, to be, to be real. But um, salute to everybody here in the building, you guys. Wipe them feet. Hit them thumbs up. Subscribe to both channels, you guys, whether you're on Hammer's channel, Raider Nation News Today, or the Oak Las Vegas Raiders Network. Make sure you hit that subscribe button on both. Um, salute to my dog, Raider John, in the building. Thanks for always keeping the 100 Raider fam. Salute to you, my brother, one of the OGs of Raider YouTube. We appreciate you and love you, brother. Um, shout out to Gio. When McDaniel says he's excited about a guy, I feel like they're more likely going to be traded or cut. Fact, <laughs> damn. Factory. Um, Wait, is hard conversation. Are really gone? No, he's not. But they're just oh, they're basically just saying because of how deep that DT room is. Gotcha. Um, our conversations asked interior D line legit or not. Nah? What do you think about that, LeBro? Again, he, Patrick Graham got what he want uh, wanted. He's got yeah. a very deep defensive tackle room. You're going to see a constant rotation. I think these guys are going to be just fine moving forward this season. I absolutely do. Like I really have confidence in this defensive line this season. Yeah, me too. Um, but I'm gonna say this: hard conversations. It is not legit until it's legit, if that makes any sense. I got to see it. You know, on paper, it looks a lot better. Um, from what I'm hearing, there's a lot more competition in the interior D-line. But at the end of the day, we got to see it to believe it. So once I start really, you know, once we start getting, getting some football going and these guys start applying some pr pressure from the inside on the quarterback, I'm not going to believe it until it happens. But right now, this is the most excited I've been about the, the D-tackle room in a long time. Um, yeah, elite, definitely. Shout to our sis elite. Yes, they have to show and prove. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Shout to LV. August 13th will be present and excited. Yes, man. I can't wait to get out there in Vegas in a couple weeks for the Raider Niners game, the alumni party. It's gonna be a movie. And you guys, um, we have a surprise. I'm not gonna say nothing yet. I know Cody's probably in the chat. Can't say nothing, but we'll have some more. Um, we have some more blackout interviews and podcasts set up. So stay tuned for that. And, and I think you guys are going to like this one. Um, for real, for real. Uh, let me see. Docs, do you think Josh Jacobs will sign that franchise tag or take at least $12 million? I think he signs the tag and he'll be back for week one. 
Um, shout out to Top. He says the press conference is over. Salute in the chat. Salute, salute. Hot take. Beaver says Jimmy G is going to make his first Pro Bowl. I think that is a very, very um, long, like it's a long shot. But um, if it does happen, I am here for it. And I would definitely, definitely be happy about that. Um, for real. Salute to Crow. He says Raiders center Andre James on Jimmy Garoppolo. He gives great feedback. He's a great leader. You want to block and play for a guy like that. I like that, man. These guys are already pretty much saying without saying that they like that. They have a guy there that that is, you know what I mean, a dog, bro. And, and that's that's going to talk his shit. And it's gonna, you know, apply pressure when need when need be. Yeah. If, if his O line's not gonna hold up hold up for him, he's gonna get on the ass. You know what I'm saying? If these wide receivers are dropping footballs, Jimmy G's gonna let them know. You know what I'm saying? That's the kind of guy that you want at the helm. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not I'm not saying as though Jimmy G is this all pro talent that's gonna be the guy that gets us over the hump and wins us a Super Bowl. I'm just saying that's the type of mentality that you want at the quarterback position. And uh, I'm excited to see what Jimmy G brings to the table. But uh, I'm gonna say this to you guys. Keep giving him a few days off here and there. He knows the system already. You know, let him heal up as much as possible. We're seeing what's going on around the league right now with Jalen Ramsey and, and, you know, Burrow getting hurt. You know what I mean? We got to be really, 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 really uh, careful and really patient with some of these guys coming off those injuries. That's why I like that Tyree's not out there yet. You know, he's going to be an intricate part of our defense, yeah. um, you know, for the foreseeable future. Give him a chance to completely heal up, even though he passed his physical. No reason to rush him out there. And I like what they're doing with Jimmy G. Get, getting him out there, getting him a little active with the teammates, but also giving him a day or two off, you know what I mean, to, to relax and get back to the grind. Um, yeah, it's a long season to grind, Mike Downs. This is facts. Hey, Wheezy, you beasy. I love the name. Being from Northern California, I know what it means. What's the word on Zamir? Did you guys see him? <laughs> Little bro, did you see him out there today? Not today, but I did see the other day, and, like, dude's got quicker feet. Like, I'm sorry. Like, size-wise, yes. But, like, this dude's got quicker feet right now, and I'm just like, what the fuck? I'm like, all yeah. right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And, and, and you know, I, I think this year, you know, I think they're telling him it's time to step up. This may be your team moving forward, um, you know, from the running back position. You know what I mean? With, with with Josh, you know, being in question right now, he has to step up. He's a second-year guy. But that dude's, like, he is, that dude is jacked right now, bro. Yeah. And he definitely looks um, a lot more quicker, a lot more elusive with those certain things that I've seen with, with him out there on the field. I'm excited to see what Zamir uh, does this year, man. Zeus, hey, man, you got to get it done for us if Josh uh, doesn't show up, man. And... <laughs> You know, that's that's a hard that's a high, you know, <laughs> that's that's a that's a hard task right there, brother, to, to come in and, and, and take Josh Jacobs job if he doesn't show up. But um, hey, man, it is what it is. Let me Shout see out to, uh, John Cena in the chat. Um, He's asking, am I doing a live for SummerSlam? Unfortunately, I'm not. Um, I will be with Jersey Shore Booster Club for a barbecue. So, yeah, uh, unfortunately, I think by the time I get home, it'll already have started. It's going to be a really, really fat card. Me and Graf were talking about it off air before. Um, yeah. There might be a surprise return to SmackDown tonight, and I'm not going to give that away to you guys. Yeah, I'm excited. I can't wait. I'm, I'm definitely watching that today. Uh, salute to Elite also in the building. A very telling quote from Tay on Jimmy. I was impressed with his ability to be coachable from, from to him and the coaches to me. Tell me what he is saying without saying it. I like that. A very telling quote from Tay on Jimmy. I was impressed with his ability to be coachable from uh, from to him and the coaches and me. I like that. More look, heat man. from elite. More heat from elite. Look, I, look, if look, Devontae, man, he knows, you know, he's going to say everything right in, the, in those pressers. He basically said it's going to take some time. You know, what I mean, you know, we're, we're, we're not completely there yet and blah, blah, blah. But the most important thing that he said today, you guys, for the 1000th time was he wants to retire a Raider. So. There you have it. But I do believe in that one-two punch with Jimmy G and Devontae. I think Devontae um, and, and him are going to build a nice rapport. But, man, I'm really, really excited about Michael Mayer, little bro. Like, I really am, bro. So am I. So am I. Look, this this is a tight end that can definitely get the job done. I think next level, I think he's going to be incredibly successful with us. And I'm excited for it. And you know what? Let me go back because I was thinking about this as you and I were talking and when you sent me the – um the thumbnail earlier in regards to Tay. But this organization, we have not had a receiver of Tay's status 
realistically, and you guys can argue with me about this however you want, we haven't had a receiver like this since Tim Brown. Not yeah. an insult. Not an insult. It's a fact of life. Like yeah. so, all those with this bullshit that he's gonna get traded. Da da da. Leave that shit alone. Yeah. Facts. Once again, you guys salute to the chat. Um, Streamyard is having issues today with their comments, so I can't see them all in the stream. But I'm also reading everything that you guys are doing from a different screen on YouTube. So salute, man. A perk angle with the. Five dollar donation. Just give me a perk and put me in at running back. I want Olympic gold with a broken freaking neck. <laughs> no one can stop me. Salute to my God, man. Should us also shout out to Bernard Brooks, Docs. You hammer and wasted uh, talent. Great broadcasting. Appreciate you, brother. That means a lot. Means a lot. Thank you. The secondary low key will be pretty good, and I've been saying that, Jack. This is a very, very sneaky DB room. A very yes, sneaky. It is secondary man they're saying jacorian bennis out there already making flashes he was a, uh, I guess he was out there shadowing philip dorsett today you know speed on speed crime and uh, they said that he held his own and he looked pretty good um apparently i think uh philip dorsett missed a long mr uh mr long pass also from aiden o'connell i believe he was wide open somebody said it was like a 50 yard or something i could be wrong it was it, they said it was a long pass from aiden and philip dorsett ended up dropping it but um you know another veteran of pick it up and, and figure it out hopefully but yeah man to hear jacorian out there doing this thing to hear brandon facing out there looking really good that's good man like I, I'm, I'm excited but once again you guys let's let's hold on to our uh expectations until the past come on um let me see shout out to jamal man my brother how do you guys feel about what cole said what did cole say i i didn't i didn't see that do you know Cole or carlson because carlson was at the podium today not cole okay was it cole or was it carlson unless he went, unless he went after because the way that I, I saw the description and everything, I don't even think Cole was part of uh the presser this afternoon. So I'm not I'm not sure. Well, I'm seeing other people say Carlson as well. So I, I don't oh, I don't know. Have to have been Carlson. Okay, Moss is yesterday. But what, what was said? You can see it, yeah. Okay, uh both AJ Cole and Hunter Renfro, two borderline leaders on this team, have said there's no drama or prima donnas. I wonder who he was talking about, and that is gonna translate huge. Huge, huge. We don't have any divas in head cases here. I'm, I'm gonna take a guess. I'm gonna take a stab in the dark. Um, that guy that wore 83. Easy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mr. <laughs> Turfto, Mr. Turfto himself. Um, uh, yeah, Mr. Mr. You know, Mr. Thong himself. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I guarantee you, he was, he was talking about Daniel Carlson. Um, Check your phone. Yeah, because at, at the end of the day, Derek Carr was not a diva. He was not a head case. No. Um, he was none of that. You know, at just, the end of the day. too nice. He yeah, too, too nice. nice. Yeah, but definitely Darren Waller. I, I, it has to be. That's There's no DC4 hate right there. Had to have been directed to Darren Waller. And, um, yeah. So, but that's crazy. Cole said we don't have any divas and head cases here. Wow. Okay. Shout out to old school. On the $10 donation as well. Been watching podcasts from around the league to get a feel about what's going on. All I've seen is nothing but positive vibes after their teams. It's a giant circle jerk after a week of practice. Salute to old school. Always coming through. <laughs> so I want to pause that with the nice circle jerk uh, comment, but I'll, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll pump the brakes on that a little bit. Um, circle jerk. That's always a funny, funny. Uh, <laughs> I fucking funny can't, but, uh... Let me see. The goal for the season is to make sure Cole doesn't make the Pro Bowl. No offense to him. Facts. Facts, bro. Facts. Salute to everybody here in the building, man. Wipe them feet, y'all. Hit them thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, hit that subscribe button on Na Raider Nation News today with my little brother Hammer's house and also over here at Oak Laws Vegas Raiders Network. Make sure you sub, sub, sub. Run those numbers up. All shout out to our brothers, man. We see a couple more donations uh, piling in. Shout out to Doom. Why, oh, my God. Wi-Fi Willie really needs to go somewhere with this BS. You got to trust the tried and true. Wipe them feet, Nation 661. So Cal love. Salute to Southern California. Shout out to our brother, Doom. Uh, you know what time it is, man, with us with that situation. Shout, shout out to my guy with the $10. Shout out to Rube as well. What do you guys think of Sean Payton taking shots at Hackett and the team last year for the Broncos? Sounds like things aren't going well. I think that Sean Payton is a dickhead. Uh <laughs> I'll be real, bro. Like, I, like I've never really liked Sean Payton. You know what I'm saying? I think he's very overrated. Yes, he's got he got a championship, 
It's a lot of years where he had Drew Brees and they were seven and nine and eight and eight. And I think he's mad overrated. I think for him to go in there and shit on a great offensive mind like Nathaniel Hackett, which, yeah, he didn't get it done as a head coach. Um, you know, there was a lot of other shit that went around that situation. But for him to come in there and completely just that's that's disrespectful. You know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, also, um, another player came out, I believe, right? A, a former player came out and said, that's bullshit. Like, who are you to talk about, you know, what happened last year? You have no that's idea what, the hell, what was that's going on. Fact. That's a fact. Yeah, but this is also a guy, bro, that was ripping, taking shots out of a bong with like 15, 16 year olds. Like this is this is the guy we're talking about. Like, I don't know if you guys seen the video of Sean Payton. He was ripping a bong with like 15, 16 year old guy. This this is this is a he's he's a weird dude. You know what I mean? So it is what it is, man. But um, yeah, Sean Payton is overrated and and very disrespectful to go in there and, and, and shit on the former head coach. Yeah, they didn't get it done, but that's still mad disrespectful. Salute to L Rocket Hammer. Acknowledge me. Love it. Love it. Shout out to L Rocket as well. And shout out to Jason Monroe on the $5 donation. Also, my apologies, you guys, for not being able to put them on the screen, but I'm going to read them. Trying to donate to more channels. Three kids and one on the way. I'm more excited for the offense than the defense. No more zero point game. Sal salute to Jay. And brother, let me tell you this, man. We appreciate any donation, but we also appreciate just any comments. Um, any shares of the link, the live streams, any just hitting the thumb, hit, you know what I mean, hitting that thumb up. That definitely helps us, bro. Like respect to anyone who can't, doesn't have the expense, you know, the, the, the extra cash to donate to us. Trust me, man. We understand it and we appreciate you just for being here and spending your day with us, bro. Okay. And shout out to you, um, on the, on the one on the way, man. God is good. Appreciate you for rocking with us. And, um, it's not always about the donations, brother. For real, for real. We do this because we love this team. We do this because we love getting on screen with our brothers and the camaraderie that we have and just talking football. Trust me, it's not always about that. We do appreciate you guys helping us keep the lights on. I'll tell you that. But, um, you know, it is what it is, my brother. We appreciate you. Um, you see anything else on there, bro? Let me see. Uh, uh, no, but um, I want to thank everybody for the live we did the other day with the presser and Big Mike pulling up to us at tail end. Like the first few minutes with the super chats was just unbelievable, and I appreciate you guys for everything, especially the super chats and everything we're doing for this month for Calvin. This is probably going to be the last day of the month that I'm yeah. going to be live. So if you guys want to donate again, whatever you guys want to do, like I said, doesn't have to be a lot. But everything counts. It's going directly to his family for medical expenses and treatment at Sloan, Memo uh, Ketter Sloan Kettering Memorial in New York City for his cancer treatment. And uh, again, for those that have donated this month uh, for the few lives I have been on, appreciate you guys. And whatever we do make, I am matching it uh, once we get that check from YouTube next month. So again, much love. Thank you, guys. Graf, do me a favor. Check your phone real quick and just okay. give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Okay. Salute also to Miguel V, man, for becoming a tier two uh, member on the channel. I appreciate you, brother. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the membership family. I appreciate you so much, King. It means a lot. Let me ask, let me ask the chat. Um, I love that little bro did that behind the scenes. Um, you guys want to open up the line? We can take a couple calls. Let's take a couple calls real quick. It's all good. If you guys want to take a few calls, we'll throw the, we'll throw the vault line up and we'll take a few calls. Nothing wrong with that. It's always good to get our guys involved. And to be honest with you, you know, not being able to read the damn comments right now, um, you know, on StreamYard and having to go to YouTube to do it actually actually saves us some time as well. So I just don't um, understand why it's on your end and your end alone because I know I don't I know. have that message. When I, I saw it like before we went on, and I'm like, uh, what? Yeah. I tried to disconnect mine and then reconnect it again. I, I, I don't know what the hell's going on. But uh, D Bernie, shout out to my dog. We can open him up right now. If you, you guys want to open up, look, put a one in the chat. We're going to pull a Mitchell Rance. We're going to pull our brother right now. You know what I mean? Put a one in the chat if you guys want to open up the phone lines and get a few people to call in so we can take some calls and let the nation sound off. We already got chat. our first. Okay, let's get it. Call from Ryan. Ryan, welcome to the vault, man. Yo, yo. Hello. And just like that, they hung up. Okay. Next. <laughs> ding, ding. Next stop. Uh, let me see. Yeah, this is so hard. Cause, like, to oh. not see. Oh, Jesus Christ. 
not to see your chat right now in here is like incredibly difficult to try yeah. to yeah. respond. Yeah, this is, shout out to uh, you know, sh shout out to you guys for bearing with us right now. This is very difficult not being able to see the chat right now. But is, um, that, is that GQ, my Call of Duty buddy? What's good, bro? Call from GQ Raider. Oh shit! <laughs> Except press one. <laughs> Yo, GQ, what's good, bro? What up, what up, family? What's good, bro? What's good, brother? Hey, shit, man, just calling. I'm, I'm up watching y'all, watching y'all on the show right now, bro. You know, just want to want to tap in. Salute, salute, GQ. We appreciate you, bro. What, what, what you think about um, all the news about this whole this rumors and rumors about Devontae Adams? How you feel about that? The rumor of, of what again? Uh, the whole the whole Devonte Adams shit. Bro, that's cap. So yeah. so I feel like I feel like people don't really be listening to the players when the players be talking. Like this goes back to last season. It goes back to last season when Tay and, and uh, Jacobs was talking about, hey, man, get off the coach's bumper. You know, the players got to execute, right? We wasn't listening then. But Devontae said, bro, before I even knew Derek Carr, I was a Raider fan. I love the Raiders. This has always been my dream to play for the squad, bro. I was going to play for the squad no matter if he was a quarterback or not. Yes, that's my homie. Yes, he had an influence on me uh, coming, you know, at the time frame that I came. But, bro. This is what I love. This is who I am, bro. So all yeah. that he want to get out, it's, it's, that's, that's stupid. Facts. Facts plus tax. How do you feel about the whole Hunter Renfro um, presser today with him saying, you know, he's disappointed in his performance last year and that he wants to show his team moving forward that they can depend on him? How do you feel about Hunter Renfro taking accountability for the down season last year and the injuries and coming back and, and showing, showing and proving? I'm going to tell you what, I can respect it a thousand percent. Um, coming from when we first got him and how everybody loved Hunter and his play style and what he brought to the team, you know, when, you, when, you're, when you're unsuccessful and then you're kind of looking, looking kind of bad at the same time, then, you know, of course, you Raider Nation, we're kind of unforgiving sometimes. So we, we, we picked him apart a little bit, but I feel like that is who Hunter is. That, that character trait right there, it's something that is characteristic, uh, reminiscent of that early hunter, right? Yeah. And I feel like he's going to do exactly what he said he's going to do. I yeah. feel like he's going to do exactly that and show cats that, hey, I'm still that Hunter Renfro, bro. Yeah. And, yes, you know, like I said, we, we had a little opinion about him because of his performance being hurt and all that type of stuff. And a couple games we, we lost, the little fumble. The fumble was huge, right? Everybody's really – no matter what he did throughout the year, I think everybody's still harping on Hunter because of that one fumble yeah. the Cardinals game, right? Yeah, I, I believe well, in Hunter, bro. And he's coming, in, you know, he's coming into his own now. You know, what I mean, he's being more vocal. He sounds more of like a leader. You know, what I mean, before it was kind of, you know, Hunter was really quiet, kind of speaking to himself, kind of does his own thing. He, he's becoming more vocal, becoming more of a leader. And I'm actually happy right now that you know Hunter's still a Raider. I don't know how long that will be. I don't know if they will still decide on moving on. But for right now, it's a great thing. Shout out to you, GQ. We appreciate you, brother. We're gonna take another call real quick, but we appreciate you for calling in. Mad love to y'all, bro. Raider Nation Drinking Club, y'all always welcome. You know, we got to link up, bro. My brother, you already Mad know. Mad love, nation or nothing. Thanks. Salute. Take care, bro. Let me see. I'm about to end up playing some Warzone with him later. Watch. <laughs> Shout out to GQ, my dog. Shout out to everybody here in the building. Let's get a couple more calls before we get out of here, you guys. You know, we're starting to open up the vault lines. D, Bernie. Burn. Yo, D, welcome to the vault, bro. What's good? Burn. Oh man, well, shit, it's it's good. It's good afternoons for me, y'all. You know what I'm saying? How y'all doing, man? Good, man. Bless, 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 King. What's good? What's uh, on your mind? Uh, oh uh, man, shoot, uh, Hunter doing his thing right now. Shout out to the dude. He needs to bulk up a little bit more, man. Other than that, I ain't got nothing against him. Uh, he keeping his faith high. He is a true believer. I'll give him that. Mm -hmm. But uh. Let him bulk up and uh, go out there and play with that attitude that we know he can play with. I just don't want him to return any more punch. Oh, um, that's, nah, that, that's, yeah, the <laughs> hey, that's the good thing. Sean Payton is weird, man. Hey, that's the good thing. This year, Sean Payton, what's up? Uh, this year, Hunter's yeah. not returning any kicks. 
they were already saying that Trey Tucker was out there today returning kicks and looking really, really good. The speed is already there. So to see Hunter be able to just play predominantly in the slot and get back to just worrying about the receiver position, I think that's going to ease the blow a lot on him being hurt and all that other shit. We, we know we, every time he caught a, a, a kickoff, a, a punt return, we were always nervous. We're like, oh, my God, dude, this dude might get killed. You know what I'm saying? And, and I have to worry about that moving forward. That, that's a blessing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah man. that's out the way. Uh, he, uh, I feel he taking it kind of personal. You know, his college teammate blasted him like that, man, in the game, and he fumbled against us. Well, he yeah. fumbled against uh, the Cardinals. Yeah. So uh, he he's still mad at Isaiah for doing him like that. So hopefully he gets some redemption from that. Uh, yeah. Zamir, man, Zamir was always explosive. He did look nice. I got yeah. a glimpse of that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm, I like the way we trending, man. You know, hopefully we can figure this Josh shit out. It's not a Let's just rally together and push forward. Fuck. That's where I'm at with it. There you go. Thanks. Salute to D. Bernie, our brother, man. We appreciate you for calling in, bro. We're going to take a couple more calls. Keep that optimism Always. going through the season, brother. And we can't wait till next week when uh, we had a show again. Make sure you call in, man, and so we can keep up with you, brother. If, if I'm on detail out there, I'm going to try to link with y'all. Sounds Salute. good, bro. Salute, my brother. All yeah. right, shout out to D Bernie, man. Right. Salute to everybody in the chat too, man. Wipe them feet, y'all. Hit them thumbs up. That content. Yo, you're in the vault. Who's this? Hard conversations. Uh, this hard conversation. Yes, sir. What's up, bro? Hey, man. First of all, man, uh, my birthday was a couple of days ago, man, and I mean, I was dying. Graph was killing. Wasted over being old, bro. And I'm sitting here like, dog, wasted is a puppy, man. You call it old. It was funny as all I do it, man. I love that. I love that show. But check this out, dude. The only question, I put it in the chat a minute ago. He old as fuck, uh, bro. He old as fuck. D line. Yeah. Go, go ahead. Yeah, you already know, bro. I'm telling you, bro. <laughs> I, put, I put it this way. Wasted gave me a shout out a couple of days ago because my youngest daughter just got her associate's degree. So that's how old I am, bro. Damn. You feel me? Yeah. So that's what's yeah. up. Congratulations, though, bro. Real shit. Yeah. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. But the the question I really had, man, is what do you guys what do you guys think is gonna make that interior D line better? I mean, if we can really get some pressure from the inside. I think the sky's the limit for us for our defense, bro. Yeah, I think I think you're gonna see a lot of um, mixing and rotating around. Like each of these guys have their own individual strengths and their own individual weaknesses. And Patrick Graham is gonna utilize these guys in certain situations, certain down and distances where these guys should be able to thrive on the defensive line and cause a lot of headaches. Yeah. And a lot of pressure along that offensive line this coming season. But you know what else is going to help? And, and this may make this may not make sense to some people. We added a third pass rusher. That helps. That helps. You got Tyree Wilson out there, right? You got a guy that you can rotate in and out. We added an additional pass rusher. We kind of been just relying on last year on Max and Chandler to get it done. We have that third guy. That's going to definitely, definitely, definitely help that D line. And it's going to help the interior of that defense as well. So adding an additional pass rusher that can kick inside of me if, if need be, or, you know, if, if need be, you know, I, mean, I definitely see Tyree playing all over the place, but on that D line, but I'm just saying like that third additional pass rusher, and maybe even Adam plant, maybe the fourth, you never know. It's going to help, um, you know, wake that defensive line. Up. I mean, that, that defensive tackle room up, you know what I mean? But yeah, man, the rotation is going to be great this year between Byron Young, Neil Farrell, Matthew Butler, Tillery, and you know all these other guys that we got over there. It's Jordan Willis, potentially another guy that can kick in, kick out. I'm excited about this D-line, but I think the addition of Tyree Wilson when healthy, if he's out there early on, that's going to help this. this it's going to help the D-line as a whole. Let me see. Very much appreciated, man. You know, and, and – Hopefully we can get a little help from the linebackers too. So, you know, if we can do that, man, I'd be a happy man this year. Absolutely. But I appreciate y'all like major, man. Y'all, you know, Fillmore is definitely that ish. You know what I'm saying? And I holler at y'all. I appreciate you, brother. And now the calls are just flooding. Call from Raiders Primos. Primos, what's good, bro? Pre. What's good? What's good, you guys? What's going on? Shit, just chilling, man. Sound off. Man, uh, bro, shout out to Sean Johnson. He gave me that that pay news. 
And I'm like, I like looked at it. I just like put laughing emoji. I'm like, bro, ain't no way you gonna believe this because <laughs> I think someone said it earlier. Like, we could go back to last season to say saying like this is a dream come true. Like, he wanted to be a Raider since he was a little boy. Like, yeah. you know. And then he, you know, Sean Johnson even brought a family into it. Like, Graf, you even brought a, you know, he moved out, wanted to be a Raider, not just because he wanted to be a Raider, but his family, you know, lives close to the Bay Area. Vegas is like an hour flight. Um, right. to the Bay Area. Like, there's no reason why he would want to go back to the East Coast. No, you know, no offense, Hammer. He don't want to go to the East Coast. Look, uh, I, 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 don't, I don't want to be in the East Coast anymore, bro. So, trust me, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> Just had that conversation the other yeah, day. It's like, like, he wouldn't want to, like, I'm over here like, bro, these media people, they just want to throw everything out there. Just And what's crazy to me is some of Raider Nation actually believes it. Like, yeah. that's what's even more crazy to me. Yeah. Like, that they actually believe it. I'm like, guys, yeah, like, and I think it's more like, I, I told Sean this, I'm like, it's crazy how some people can have themselves as Raider fans, but just shit on this team. Just like, totally just shit on the team. Like, don't get me wrong, yes, we as, you know, we all crack on this team, but we criticize this team for good reason. If Like, you said it grabbed the other, like, two days in a lot. You said if these players don't, you know, hold up to the level that we expect them to. You're going to criticize them, yeah. and I think you you brought up Trayvon Merrick that you know he yeah. didn't have a good season. You shit on him, he unfollowed you. I'm like, bro, you yeah. know, it's because we love this team. We want to see them win. We want to see a like. I guarantee you, for like, shout out to the elders, my dad, you know, who are Raider fans that may not have a lot of luck left in them. Hold, you know, hold up. They want to see a Super Bowl championship before they die. Like, I give yeah. them that. Yeah. <laughs> like. Is it wrong that we want that? You know, as Raider fans, we want to see a Super Bowl championship before we leave this earth. Yeah. That, there's, look, a way, there's a way to do it, though. Like, look, you can have a high standard or high expectations of your team, but also keep the shit within reason. Like, when I, I've said this time and time again, like, I will call players out on their shit. And if I hurt their feelings, that's cool. But when they do well, they're going to get their flowers. I'll give them the praise that they deserve as well. Like, you can't just be mm-hmm. one-sided all the fucking time. And that that's what it seems like a lot of people do. Like, oh, I fucking hate this guy, da 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 Like, but even when that person's doing good, it's still the same. I fucking hate this guy. Like, stop. Stop. Yeah. Look, yeah. I, 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 I tend to stay yeah. away from people like that, man. You know what I mean? Look, I, I'm a firm believer in energy. And you know what I mean? If you if you lead, yeah, if you lead with negativity, brother, I, I don't even want to hear anything you got going on in your mind outside of that after that i'm cool like i lead always with positivity until you show me something else and then and then we then we can get into the shit talking and we can get into you know the beating you up about your game you know what i'm saying but at the end of the day man you know yeah until a snap is being played you know this season i'm going in very very optimistic and uh yeah the whole Devontae stuff preem you know little bro we we gotta kill this shit bro like at the end of the day it's over with like it's over with like Moving forward, I'm not even going to talk about this shit anymore. I just thought it was funny because I was getting a million DMs about, oh, no, Graph. Oh, no. Woo, woo, woo. And it's like, stop. Stop. You yeah, know that's, I mean? that's how I was, too. I was laughing. I'm like, bro, this is comedy, bro. This, this yeah. can't be real. No. no. Ramos, definitely appreciate the no, call, bro. Then, We're going to take a couple a more, call. bro. Yeah, no worries. No worries, man. Y'all have a blessed day. Y'all have an amazing day. Shout out to the nation. Shout out to you guys. And keep that fire content coming. <laughs> content. <laughs> <laughs> That's a little supreme. <laughs> um, shout out to Franklin Skinner on the 1999 super chat. Hammer slammer, you're a fool. For Calvin, we'll be <laughs> present for week one against the Donkeys. Hope Jacobs is back so I can witness the W and scream Raiders all the way out the stadium. Talk that shit, bro. Appreciate you. Shout out to Franklin awesome. Skinner, our guy. Fuck you. Oh, wow. yeah. one of the greatest names in YouTube history. Five. You is in the building. What's good, brother? It's <laughs> good. What's up, bro? What's up, y'all? What's on your mind, King? So, yeah, man. I just wanna... Hey, man. Like, uh, first of all, first and foremost, I just want to thank y'all for uh, doing all this for us, Raider fans, man. Um, I remember when I was a kid, man, I used to, like, wait and just, unfortunately, just hoping they share some Raider shit, you know? Yeah. And now, like, now you got, you know, you guys, and but you know, to all, to all other uh, platforms. But uh, I just want to say something, you know? Nah, bro. Like, we appreciate that. Now, keep, with all this, go, like, uh, on, bro. you good? With all this Josh Jacobs shit and all this bullshit rumors, like, I mean, whether Josh Jacobs stays or not, man, whatever they, 
you know, handle it. All I'm going to say is, like, we got to stay positive about the team. Like, you know, it's like you, you got to think about it. Like, for me personally, I, I feel like, you know, you can't keep everybody. You know, yeah. like we we got one of the best receivers in the NFL. We got one of the best defenders in the NFL. So it's like yeah. we got a good old line. Like, I'm, it's just like, like what? We got a good draft. Like, I'm just like, yo, yeah. like. I'm, if Josh Jacobs walks, we still got some guys. You know what I'm saying? Like I just, I don't get why everybody's so angry all the damn time. <laughs> yeah, man. They they don't want it, but they don't want to hear that. They don't want to hear that. You know what I mean? Like, like people just. I, I, I've I've tend to learn in today's society, bro, that people want to be mad. They want to be mad. Yeah, you know I mean, it's like. It's like, oh. it, it, look, I, I tend to stay away from them kind of people, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm good. You know what I mean? Like, look, I love the draft. You know, I'm not going to say I loved what we did in free agency, but I liked it a lot, added a lot of depth, you know, on the defensive side of the ball and even the yeah. offensive side of the ball. But I love the draft. You know, I mean, we moved on from D.C. Yes, we picked up Jimmy G, but at the end of the day, we could have ended up with Jacoby, J- Jacoby Brissett or some shit. Right. We ended up with Jimmy G, the next best thing a- after the, the total, you know, misses on Tom Brady, which probably wouldn't have happened anyway. And then Aaron Rodgers that, which probably wouldn't have happened anyway. So at the end of the day, we ended up with a comp, you know, a competent quarterback that knows the system and knows what's expected of him. I think that we had a really, really, really good off season. And that draft is going to play out as one of the best drafts um, the Raiders have had in, in the last 30 years. I'm telling you right now, th- this draft was stacked. You know oh, what I mean? Yeah. So I'm excited yeah. about it too, man. Real talk. Shout, shout to, uh, Shout out to fuck you, man. One of the greatest names, like I said before, in YouTube history. Thank you for calling up, brother. We we truly appreciate it, man. Now we can now we can match the voice with the name, bro. That's dope. There you go. That's dope. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the All call, right, bro. Going, Take man. care. You too, brother. You too. Let's get let's get uh let's get one or two there's more. Number, there's a number that keeps calling, and look, I'm not being an asshole when I say that, but I'm gonna try to call this number back and see if it's who I think it is. If the answer. Hello? Hello? Who's this? This is Top Beats. Who's this? What's up, bro? It's Hammer. <laughs> oh, I'm on the I'm on the show. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Top Top was about oh, to get boy. on Top, hey, top, top was about to get on some gangster shit until he yeah. realized it was on the phone with us. Like, oh, this fam. <laughs> 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 Hope you let the cat out the bag, Graf. You know what time it is with me, boy. <laughs> hey, but on a, on a serious note, on a serious note, man, uh, uh, you know, you guys know, see my comments about Ziegler and whatnot. But in watching the uh, the press conference and the players' reaction, man, everybody seems extremely positive, uh, uh, dialed into the system. And I actually believe, man, that there's a good chance that we might be able to compete with the big boys. I'm talking about KC. You know what I mean, and uh, uh, and 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 make a run. And at the beginning of the season, none of us really thought uh, that that was possible. But in judging from the players' reactions and the and the uh, 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 the attitude overall with on this team, because we all know that it's about a team uh, attitude, man, that wins championships, yeah. wins conferences. I yeah. haven't been this excited, man, in a while. I just hope. That uh, McDaniel's man can reel it all in, execute uh, 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 good plays, man, against our competition because we don't have an easy schedule either. But I think yeah. we can get it done, man, and have a winning season as opposed to, you know, at the beginning, before training camp, where we all felt like, you know, we have a 9 8 season or something or subpar season and be yeah. another year away from really making a run. But I'm, I'm real positive on this year's team in spite of some of the criticisms. That I've had against Ziegler and McDaniel. There you go. Curious about your thoughts on that, uh, bro? Shit, you speaking our language, top. You know what time it is with us, bro. Like th- right th- now, go ahead, bro. No, no, go ahead. It's, it's on you. I think right now, as it stands, and I've never, I hate trying to throw out predictions, but I think best is eleven and six in a wild card spot, or like worst would be an eight and nine record. But right now, with the things that I'm hearing from these press conferences, the things I'm hearing from training camp already, and to see who's there right now, like I'm, I'm still, I'm excited, and I think more and more the nation's going to get more and more excited as we get closer to week one of the regular season. I think ten and seven is a yeah, wild card spot. I think ten and go seven. Ahead. Go ahead, go Josh. I think ten and seven is a wild card spot. I, I, I think eleven and eleven and six, you get in pretty easy. I think. uh 
you know, even a nine and eight, you may be able to slide in in the wild card because we've seen this year in and year out. These you know, some of these teams get nine wins and, and, and sneak in. You know what I mean? So we, we got, you know, we, we, we can get in certain ways, but I don't want to talk about the P word too much. I'm just going to say this. Let's go out there and be competitive. That, that's the only word I'm focused on this season is competitive. Let's not give up big leads. Let's stay in the game. You know what I'm saying? And if it comes down to the wire and you take an L, it is what it is. It sucks, but stay competitive. But you also need to figure out how to finish games. You know what I mean? And get it done in the red zone. If you get it done in the red zone this year, we may go on a crazy run. You know what I mean? But um, be competitive. Be competitive. No 17 to zero at the half and give up the lead and you lose the game. No, not being able to get past the 50 yard line on the road and, 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 and putting up a, a huge goose egg. Like, just be competitive. You know what I mean? And, and I'll be happy with what we do this year. You know, I want to see the defense take the next step. We need we need those playmakers to make plays. We need we need these pass rushers to get to the quarterback more often. If we can get a field a top fifteen defense, I'm I'm already ecstatic about what we do this season. You know what I mean? So, you know, it is what it is. But uh, it's good to see you positive, top. It's good to see you positive, brother. You know what I'm saying? I know you've been a Raider forever. I think Jimmy G's gonna cook, man. Let's go. Let's go. I like that. I like that. Salute to our bro, Top, man. We appreciate you. All right, you boys. Here, have a good day. You too, bro. You too, brother. Yes. The one word for this season for me, finish. Yes. That's it. That's it. Finish. Okay. That's Little. all I want to see. Play a yeah. full 60 minutes of ball and fucking finish. There you go. Call from Andy Kim. It's my now, so, so people don't realize this is my dog in real life, right here. This is my boy. So, you know, we be in the gym talking shit all day. Shout out to my dog. Is this, is this the Andy that I'm talking that I'm thinking about? Yes, sir. My dog, right here. This is my LA fitness gym partner, right here. What's good, bro? So, I uh, just shout out to you and Hammer, first time caller. Um, I just wanted to touch on the whole Jacob situation. I just wanted to say, like, at this point, if he doesn't want to ride, ride with us, um, I mean, he got 1,600, 1,500 yards because that old line, that the new regime, he wasn't doing that before. I think next man up is in play. I don't want to disrespect Josh. I know he's held it down for us for the last four years. Mm -hmm. But the two biggest things I really want to see our team do this year is red zone efficiency. And uh, I want to see us get off uh, on third downs. And I want to see some fumbles and interceptions this year. What do you guys think? Agreed, bro. Agreed. Th like that's that's what's going to get it done this year. You you got to create turnovers. It doesn't matter how you do it. Like you said, fumbles, picks, whatever. That has to be a part of the Raider way moving forward because it hasn't been in recent history, and that's another reason why we have not been good at all. You know what I'm saying? Like you got to be able to create turnovers. And you got to stop, you know, the, the thing that we were upset about with D.C., right, in the past, we're going to move on from this, but was how we turned the ball over in big, in, 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 in at bad times, right? Like, we, we need to be able to protect the ball on the offensive sure. side of the ball moving forward as well. And I think that Jimmy G will make less, less mistakes. I think that Josh McDaniels is going to set him up to be successful with the more short intermediate passes, take the deep, throw the deep ball when, when, when it's, when it's there for you. Don't get me wrong, but you know, eliminating the turnovers. I think that's what's going to help us this year as well on the offensive side of the ball. Cause it was way too many last year, way too many. And, um, but no, I agree with you And the Josh Just Jacobs stuff, bro. Efficiency. Yeah. yeah man. And I'm cool with the whole running back by committee. I agree with you. Josh definitely has 1600 yards. He ran hard pause if necessary all year long, but that offensive line really does not get any, any love for that. And, and I, I've been wondering all off season, like why, why do people keep saying this O-line is bad when they helped this guy run for 1600 yards, you know? So, and don't get me wrong. Josh was very good after contact. He had a phenomenal year. I'm not taking nothing from him, but you have to give the guys up front their flowers as well. But I, I agree with you, Andy. And you already know, bro, we talk about this shit all the time when I see you at the gym, like yeah, we, we know, okay. we know what we expect from this team. You know what I'm saying? Moving forward. And, uh, Hopefully, like you said, more turnovers, more fumbles, you know, less turnovers on the offensive side of the ball. You know what I mean? More three and outs. Let the defense get off the field quick and get a ball back to the O. You know what I mean? Like, just be feel the competitive team and like Hammer said, finish. Competitive and finish. Those are the two words I think we need to live by 
this year, man. Salute to our brother, Andy, man. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the gym, bro. We're going to chop game once again when I see you, bro. Yes, sir. Shout out to my brother, yeah, Andy. Good one. Take care, man. Yes, sir. It's my dog right there. They were shooting in the gym. You wasn't with me shooting in the gym. Shout out to JT. I just wiped my feet and my ass. I know that's what you were alluding to, JT. So I'm going to go ahead and say it for you, my brother. Shout out to my dog. Graph uh, so, just finished. <laughs> yep. There you go. Yep. There you go. Um, oh, we got somebody else? Call from. Yo, you're in the vault. Who's this? This is Hot Beavers. What's up? Beats! What's going on? What's, What's good, bro? Up, bro? So, so I just got a thing, a couple things I want to get off my chest right quick. Okay. I mean, so I've been, I've been a diehard Raiders fan my whole life, like since before the strike brought free agency. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm still pissed at Al for choosing Schrader over Burline. That's where we at. That's how we're <laughs> going. Okay. Yeah, my dog went so, back. <laughs> I feel I feel like the fan base is so distorted from the last years of Al and dysfunction that came afterwards that we lost sight of what a real professional business like organization looks like. Mm -hmm. You know, we got accustomed to a certain level of like chaos and unpredictability and you know, that felt good. But that's not how you win. We need to understand that we don't pay for past production anymore. We don't set the market anymore. We don't yeah. overdraft players anymore. We yeah. don't have scholarships anymore. Mm -hmm. We don't sink money into positions that don't have value anymore. That's the sign of a well-run professional organization. We don't have to get used to that. I That's like all that. I really got to say. Bro, I, I, bro, Beavers came through with a haymaker today. I, I like that, bro, because realistically, when you look at these teams that set the market around the NFL, they're usually bad teams. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't get me wrong. You you, you pay your quarterback. Exactly. The quarterback position is different. You, you The market's going to get set year in and year out because that's the, the number one position that you need. You know what I mean? But so, you know, Burrow's going to definitely reset the market, you know, when his deal comes up. Like, we, we understand this, right? We've seen Hurts right. reset the market. But, like, when you reset the market at the wide receiver position, like we did, we were a bad team. Yes, we were a bad team last year. I know we were coming off of a wild card, but we were still a bad team, bro. We reset the market. Then Tyreek Hill goes to Miami. At the time, they're a pretty bad team. Most teams that reset the market are pretty bad teams. Let's just keep it a buck, bro. You know what I mean? Like, it is what it is. Running back, we see that. You reset the market, these guys win six games a season. It, 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 just, it just happens. You're right, bro. We got to stick to what we're doing right now. This regime knows exactly what they're doing. They're setting these deals up so right that there's outs – you know what I mean? In, in clauses inside these contracts where you can get out of them. We see what happened with DC. Resigned him to a, a three-year deal, I believe. Got out of there quick. Had an out. Yeah, we didn't get anything in return. It sucks, but we moved on. You know what I mean? Darren Waller resigned him, got rid of him, got a third-round pick. You know what I mean? I love the way that they're structuring these deals. Mm -hmm. I think we're doing it the right way. Give these guys some time. But uh, salute to yeah. you, bro. That was that was fire take, bro. Yeah, and one more thing. When you talk about, when you talk about free agency, just remember – the great players don't make it to free agency, bro. So if you paying big money in free agency, you're losing. There you go. Straight up. Hey. Teams yeah. don't hey. let great yeah. players get to free agency, man. You got to build through the draft. There's yep. no magic button you can press and just be good. So have patience. Facts. Right, I'm out, Shout out to Beaver, man. Appreciate you, bro. That's my dog. Um, fuck. I just had a thought and it went out the window. Oh, well. My bad. Hey, you gotta tell me to shut up, bro. You know me. I get the nah, like I, I don't know what the fuck just happened. Like <laughs> uh, CTE at its finest, guys. Yo, so look, hey, let's get one more call in, you guys. You got someone else gonna call in? Let's get uh, one more call in. I had two trying to call in right now. Let's see if one of them gets through now. It was, I think, actually it was three. One in Cali, one in and I think this is the Cali one right here. Call from Jamal. Yo, Jamal, what's good, bro? Sound off. What's going on, man? What's going on, man? Not much. What's up, brother? Man, it's all good. <laughs> hey, man, I was just going to say uh, I appreciate everything. You know, I appreciate everything y'all do, man. You know, it's, it's hard to get your Raider content out here in the Bay, man. Graf, you know, you know how it is, man. Ever yes. since they went to Vegas, it's hard to get real stuff. So Definitely, I appreciate bro. You, bro. Appreciate but, uh, you, brother. I just want to say, man, you know, I, I – 
Yeah, I just want to say, man, I, I like what, you know, I like what we're doing, you know, as an organization. You know, like, uh, you know, this is the first time in, what, dang near a decade, you know, we done had, you know, slam dunk draft dang near. You know, them first two picks was slam dunk. Now, you know, mm -hmm. now they don't pan out, you know what I'm saying, that, that you know, that's fine, you know what I'm saying, but we finally got, you know, two players that we, we, we can't say, you know, those reach, you know, and, you know, and I like that, you know, I like what they're doing, you know, this whole Josh Jacobs thing, you know, it, it, it's going to handle itself, you know, but uh, I like mm -hmm. what we're doing, you know, I like where the team team is, you know what I'm saying, I'm not, I'm not a person that's going to, you know, kill, kill these guys, like, you know, it takes time, you know, we can't just always go out there and, oh, this person a free agent, let's go get them, let's go get them. You look at the teams who win, man, they drafting these players. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They're not, you know, going to spend money just because this guy is a free agent. This guy is a free agent because they didn't want to keep him. You know what I'm saying? KC yeah. let, let basically a Hall of Fame safety go in Tyron Matthew and replace him with, with a young guy for cheaper. You know what I'm saying? That's what winning teams do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Facts, bro. Back. I, you know, I like our chances this year. I, I, I like our chances this year. Um, I think we probably got, you know, the, the one of the, the top two offensive lines in the AFC West. You now, people not talking about Casey lost both their starting tackles. Yeah. You know, and people not talking about that. So yeah. we got to see how they do. And I like our chances with Wilson, Jones, and Crosby against, you know, Casey might have a rookie tackle out there. You know, mm -hmm. and I know, you know, Mike McGuffey is highly overpaid. He ain't that great. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I like our chances this year. Nah, definitely. And, and I do believe we have the second best offensive line. The Chargers, to me, clear cut. When they're healthy, that O line is insane. So, yep. but um, but I, yeah. I definitely, I definitely yeah. agree yeah. with you, brother. I think we need, I think they need to give these guys more flowers. And I think after this season, I think the way Carmen Brasillo coaches, I think that we're gonna that we're gonna put the league on notice in terms of the offensive uh, offensive line. Man, these guys all got better in shape this year. All it's like the O line came together. As a whole, and said, "Let's get right. Let's treat our bodies different in the off season. They want to. They want to. They, they, they're coming out ready to prove something this year. And I'm excited. As long as that right guard position yeah. is, is is good, uh, whether it's Moody or it's McClendon Curtis, which he looks really good out there in camp right now as well. Or Mumford. Like, yeah, I, I'm excited, man, about that. You know, about that old line. I'm just the only word, thing I'm worried about is that right guard position. But the good thing is the competitiveness. McClendon Curtis, Mumford, you know, uh, Moody." Whoever wins that that spot, it's gonna be a dog out there. But yeah, you're you're right, bro. Salute to my dog Maul, always supporting us, man. We appreciate you, King. We're gonna take one more call before we get out of here, brother. But salute and thank you for the kind words and the dope hot All take, right, brother. Man. Take care, bro. Appreciate y'all, man. Yes, sir, my brother. Um, I'm I'm gonna address this real quick because this this dude has just been going and going and going in my in my chat just now. The draft sucked. Tyree Wilson was not what we needed. Jalen Carter is in a situation now where he's surrounded by former teammates in Georgia, bro. Tyree Wilson has great size and a pretty goddamn good motor. This is what we needed on the opposite side of Max Crosby. Chandler Jones is, you saw the weight that he lost. This dude is a hybrid again. We're going to see him on the edge. We're going to see him at the outside linebacker. So for that comment, this is what you get, buddy. Tell me. Yeah. Hey, Rudy. Awesome. Blame Canada. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my neighbor from the north, Van City Raider. Salute, salute, salute. What's good, bro? Yo, yo. I think this that is Jay Dogs. What's good, Hammer? That dude was driving me up the wall, bro. I no, this got to be. God. This, this is oh, Jay Van City. It's Van is City. It? Bro, it legit says international call, oh, too. Okay, okay, okay. Salute to Van. What's good, bro? Docs, my guy. What's good, my brother? Van What's City, up, my, my brother? house. Yes, sir. Good, good, good to hear from you. Man. Much you Listen, I wanted to call in, and I wanted to wait for Wasted to be on with you guys. But um, <laughs> being from the Pacific Northwest, uh, Vancouver, British Columbia, in particularly, mm -hmm. I've grown up with a slew of Seattle Seahawks fans. All my buddies are all my buddies are Seahawks fans. My dad was a Seahawks fan. I've been a Raiders fan for the past 15-ish years. Mm -hmm. Actually, a band from SoCal named Rancid uh, used to have uh, Raider shields all over their band equipment, and they were one of my favorite bands growing up. But oh, wow. 
my point is that I wanted to personally call in and let the both of you know that you guys have made such a huge difference in my life and such a huge difference in my fandom because I listened to Metro Runs for two years before I found this circuit and um, then I found Graph and then Graph you introduced me to Hammer and to Wasted and to, you know pre uh, then Primo and Big Mike and I listened to you guys all the time. Um, and I, for the first time since I found you guys, I actually feel a part of Raider Nation again, being up here in Canada, being up here in Vancouver by myself, you see the Raider stuff sometimes, but you don't see it the way that I've connected with uh, you guys, the way that I've connected with the people in your guys' chats, LB Maxima, Top Beavers, Huggies, um, I just, I just wanted to let you guys know that you guys are the reason that I feel a part of Raider Nation, and for that, I'm forever grateful. We appreciate you, Van. And um, hey, Brad, Brad that, that goes both ways, brother. We appreciate all the support that you show us. We, um, you know, we appreciate you keeping us updated with, you know, what you got going on. First time father, and you know, what I mean, and all that good stuff. Thank you for the kind words, brother. And we hope that we can keep you guys proud moving forward because we're gonna stay with that content. You already know what time it is. Van, either one brother. of you guys ever find you guys go ahead. Either one of you guys ever find the wind blows you up to Vancouver, British Columbia during hockey season. I'll <laughs> take you to a Vancouver Canucks game and we'll freaking you'll see what Canada's got going on. Good <laughs> God, I can as long as it's against the Sharks, I'm good with that. Van, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to my man. brother. Shout out to my brother, Van City, man. Thank you so Peter much. Nathan. Salute. We got and we got international callers, bro. Like, <laughs> who else has a show that has people calling from Canada? Like, this is dope. One call. I'm waiting for this one person that's been trying to call. Please try to call now. If I see Arizona, I'm picking up the phone. Call. Let me see. No problem, Dan. I got you. Like, uh, come on. See, that's one of those at... negative. That's one of those negative fair weather fans, man. I, I don't. I don't got time for that shit. Like I said, what I said the other day, and I wasn't trying to insult anybody, but those are going those tangents that want to talk negative about the team. And oh, I'm gonna go root for this team now. Bye. You're not gonna be fucking missed. I don't hey, care. Real quick, real quick. Andre James said we've all been impressed with Dylan Parham. Uh, besides his mental intake the last two years, Parham got stronger this offseason. He squats a higher weight than I can count, and those are the kind of guys you want to play next to. That's, That's big. left guard. Yep. There you have it. God damn it. All right. I'm going to take it anyways. Call from Dirty Eric 1500. Yo, Dirty Eric. What's good, bro? What's going on? I know y'all trying to get out of here. I just got something real quick to say. Real <laughs> Shout out to my dog. What's good? How come your grass hot? What's going on, Graf? How come y'all don't have more call-in shows from the rest of the nation? The rest of the uh, show more. Um, because Hammer, the techie, kind of mastered it. And uh, whenever we're doing shows together, we're going to try to put it in. Like, when I'm on, moving forward, I'm always going to open it up once we get through certain segments and stuff. But this is kind of just... Gra Graf got into it three weeks ago because I, I, I just wanted to test the waters with him and he he fell in love with it. So yeah, uh, yeah. When I, whenever I'm on, whenever I'm on with him, pause if necessary. If he is like, yo, let's just open the vault line, like we're gonna do it. No, that bro, we're gonna be doing a lot more of these moving forward, man. We, we we appreciate guys like you and you know, and then in the assist, you know, elite advanced city, you know, everybody calling in week in, week in and week out. The cool thing is that we have a bunch of people that are frequent callers. So it, it, it you know what I mean? So it makes it feel more like, like, like home. It feels like a, a yeah. space where, you know what I mean? We're, we're a tight knit community and everybody can get this shit off. You know what I mean? Hopefully we get some new callers as well, but it's always good to have our frequent callers because we feel like you guys are a part of this show. Y'all, yeah. y'all, what makes this shit, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So uh, without you guys, man, it, 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 it doesn't. This don't work, man. So salute to you, Eric. We appreciate you, brother. For real. Two, two more things, though. Two more, three more things. First of all, um, do I think there's any truth to that um, offer that they that rumor that they offered Josh twelve million or whatever? No. 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 It was no incentive, no guarantees. I don't believe that shit either. No, all right. I, I, I've, yeah, I've been I, saying that the, I think what played a role for not just Jacobs but also Saquon is the guaranteed money. I don't think I don't think it's mm -hmm. I don't think it's the annual. I think the guaranteed money is what's what played a factor and why these guys are in their situations right now. Absolutely, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I believe and, I believe uh, we offered them twelve a year, just like Hammer said. But the thing that mm -hmm. people were getting mistaken last uh, yesterday was that we offered him a new deal like Saquon's and, and put it up a million. That, that's that wasn't true. That wasn't true. So mm -hmm. there wasn't a new deal. I, I, I just I just. That's I don't know I don't know what to do with that I just but the last thing a little bit off of, Ralph you had a good time last night with the guard lines with your brother was it lit I ain't never been uh, yeah. to the guard before yeah it was a movie bro we always go in there we had a little oh, little a, gallon there's gallon there's of Jersey, kettle bro there's a couple yeah. in Jersey um I, I'm I'm have to take a trip down south a couple a couple more times before the season starts and try to find I know there was one down there I can't remember the name of it it was years ago I went but that's the guard lounge was a chill ass spot. I have to take a trip down the shore uh, sometime soon and uh, have a stogie and uh, some woods and whiskey. When I get to Vegas next year full time, I'm gonna be living in the eight lounge. I'm gonna be there all day, like all. all day. So uh, salute to you, my brother. There's one last, there's one last thing before I go and start making you laugh, yo. Can you please, behind the scenes, reach out to that goofy podcast dude with the glasses, who's always talking about the same, to tell him to shut up. No. <laughs> I ain't gonna say his name. You know. No. No. Please, we have, we oh my another, god. We got another call. We gotta take, bro. Shout out to Ditch out to E. Appreciate you, bro. <laughs> Kyle Balswalski. Yo, Kyle, you're in the vault. What's good? Hey, what's going on there, Emma? Emma. Oh. <laughs> what's up, Kyle? Emma. <laughs> Emma. Sound off, bro. Rapid. Nah, what's up, yo? What's going on, What's good, bro? You got wasted in the building. What's good, bro? What's poppin', man? I was just calling up to say what's up to y'all, man. I didn't know y'all was still on the air. I just want to tell y'all, man, that this show has taken the platform to another level. I want to shout you guys out. I want to tell you guys I'm a first-time listener. I'm a long-time listener, first-time caller. And I just want to let you guys know the only house is Hammer's House. And anybody that's out there listening, best subscribe. Best content. On the whole Can't YouTube, man. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey, hey. Is, man. I have nothing to say. I know you guys are trying to get out of here. Hey, this is how, one guy. Hey, hey, Hammer. This is one guy that never gives me my flowers for anything either. You see how he gave you all the credit for everything? See, yeah. like, th this is a guy, bro, that, that he'll he'll shit on me in public, right? And then wait, me, oh, wait until... It's... And then, and then call, call me behind the scenes like, yo, what's up, bro? <laughs> like, no, no, hold on. What you mean, what's up, bro? No, we're not doing that. Yo. yo, I'm not trying to not give you your flowers. How many fucking flowers you want, jerk off? Bro. <laughs> I, I need a garden, I'm bro. I'm trying to give Hammer his credit because he did the fucking calling thing. He does it great on his channel. Fuck you, bro. <laughs> hey. Fuck, I mean, uh, Jesus Christ, man. Hey. I mean, this guy, like, this, what do you want? What do you want us to do? You want us to get graphic rated tattoos or something, motherfucker? Hey, hey, like hey. I mean, Jesus. I love you too, ho. Have a uh, yeah, fuck you. Yeah, yeah, hey, hey, I hope. Yeah, you, yeah, you guys have a terrible show. I you hope know, I have to call and say I give Hammer his credit. I mean, the fucking Hammer can't get a little credit sometimes, crap. I hope somebody throws a burning hot latte at your work your work truck today. Get the fuck out of here. All right. You guys have a terrible show. Bye bye. <laughs> Yo, I fucking can't with you two. I swear to God, like y'all are y'all are out of control. Hold up. I, 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 uh, this is it. I, I can't, I feel bad. Salute to our brother, Wasted Town. This is the last one, so nobody else call in, please. Can't. Yo, you're in the vault. Who's this? Yo, yo. This is Raider Man. What's How good, you doing, bro? Hammer? What's good? My dog. What's up, brother? What's good, dog? Ah, uh, man, you hey, know, just out here, out here putting I'm in that content. I have that content. <laughs> hey man, I'm y'all going y'all going <laughs> y'all gonna get y'all gonna get on my ass. Raider Nation gonna get on my ass for what I'm about to say. But I'm looking at this team, man, and it may be just I'm it may be me. I'm optimistic. I'm telling you, man, when they brought Peters over, man, and and and, and listening to Crosby, and we got Jimmy G, Devontae, and I'm looking, and then we get if Hunter come out. Like he said, 12 and 5. 12 and 5, damn it. I said it. 12 okay. and 5. You okay. heard Raider Man say it first. Okay. Uh, like okay. okay. Hey, Raider Man, I would love that, bro. And it's I hope you're right. I believe, man. I'm not mad at you. 
Not at all. Well, I'm look- not gonna say. Well, I, not gonna say. Not gonna say. I agree with you. Not gonna say I agree with you, but I definitely hope okay. that happens. Yeah. Well, no. I'm just looking at the games we lost and how we lost them. I'm like, what we get? Mm, we get three games in. Just win three of those six games, or even nine. When you see how what the points that we lost by, I'm yeah. like, three of those games, and now we got nine wins. I think we way better than that. Let's I'm go. I'm calling right now. Twelve and five. Right, Raider man. Go. All right, bro. Yeah. Appreciate Shout out to our call, dog. Bro. Shout out to our dog, Raider Man. We appreciate you, brother. That's fire. I love it. Shout out to you for the optimism. Make sure you call hey, in again man. next week and talk your shit, bro. Um, All right, man. Thank you, guys. Love you guys. What you do. Thank you. We love you too, bro. Salute. Hey, real quick, shout out to the nation. Um, shout out to the nation. Sean Payton just came out and says he regrets talking about uh, Nathaniel Hackett, and it was a mistake. So that's that's just funny that that came out now. Uh, Sean um, Payton, do, do us a favor, man. Shut up, bitch. There you go. And um, I am punchy. Bro, There's, I have no problem, no issues. Everyone has their own thing going on. Um, we all go live at the same time. It's not a big deal. Mitch does this for a living like I do this for a living. I would never try and shit on anyone's hustle. I respect it. And right when we're done, I'm going to go jump over in his chat and, uh, and, and salute the chat and, 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 and chop it up with bro. So Damn, too too bad uh Max and uh Jimmy aren't doing a presser right now because we have a new drinking game for him. Anytime anytime we hear uh Jimmy G say it's cool, man, or we hear Max Crosby call somebody a dog, Mitch is gonna have to take a shot moving forward. I like that. I like that. <laughs> but Punchy, bro, we are all a family. We're not we don't step on each other's toes. We doing our thing. You know what I mean? He's doing this thing. We love, we, we love everybody equally, man. So that's no shade to nobody, man. I'm actually going to see my brother tomorrow. So um, stay tuned for that. Uh, with that being said, you guys, we are about an hour and a half in, a little hour and a half over, actually, a little over an hour and a half. Um, salute to everybody here in the building. We appreciate you guys. As always, you guys made this show hella fun. Um, we will be back soon. I'm working on some things behind the scenes to bring some new kind of, uh, you know, so, uh, some different elements to this thing. We still got the game show on the way as well that we're working on behind the scenes. We have some guests coming on. Hammer has a dope guest coming on um, us here soon as well. That's actually really dope. Been around the game for a while. ESPN, all that other good stuff. So stay tuned for that. Um, but uh, with that being said, oaklawsvegas.com for the drip. Um, planetraiders.com for everything Raiders. Um, and Hammer, you, you want to salute anything else before we get out of here? Uh, subscribe to Raider Nation News today. We just hit 6,500 the other day. You guys see on the top of the screen what the goal is. Yeah. And again, super thanks, which is after the live. If you guys want to donate for Calvin, um, this is like I said, probably the last live I do for the rest of this month. So, whatever is made, it's going directly to his family, and I'm matching whatever Raider Nation has donated as well. Love uh, it. and Love August 4th. It's been confirmed August 4th. I will have a special guest. He was a journalist. He was a radio personality um, and also a TV host for MSG in New York for oh. ESPN. He's been in the business for over 45 years, retired a couple of years ago. Bill Daughtry is going to be a guest on the show August 4th. That's the day after the Hall of Fame game between the Jets and the Browns. We have a lot to talk about. You guys are not going to want to miss that. And yep. uh, what else? When I leave... Come together like butt cheeks. And, 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 and wasted talent is old as fuck.